it. But you guys really, for me, stand for a company that really built the market in front of you. Um, obviously, real estate was something that everyone was really excited about and interested in, but to really take people online, that's a different thing entirely. So would love to understand like how you actually built that market for yourself um, from a technology perspective, as well as like what were the keys and the levers to the early success of Zamin? Sure. So I think back then there were only about two to three companies, uh, mostly in the classified space. Bonuses, yeah. Rosie was there, but people say. sort of, you know, starting mm-hmm. to do well. And uh, back then we had challenges, internet connectivity challenges. We had uh, uh, internet penetration was very low. So the first thing we did in Lahore, uh, that's where our office was, the first office. Uh, we uh, we literally sent people out on motorcycles and trying to sort of, you know, size the market and understand who these agencies are. We did a few interviews and, and gathered some research data or did some research and gathered some data. And we realized that actually a lot of them didn't even have uh, smartphones or, or, or even uh, laptops or, or desktop PCs in their offices and they didn't have an internet connection. So uh, for us, we actually had to go out and build all of that infrastructure for ourselves. Mm-hmm. And when you have to collect cash payments, as an example, then you have to build a lot of controls around that as well. Mm-hmm. And I think what really, really helped us was that we're both engineers. Uh, Zishan is a chemical engineer. I'm a telecom engineer with a computer science, uh, sort of, I would say more computer scientist than a telecom engineer. But Zishan was also sort of coding quite well by the time he graduated. And and with that engineering mindset, we were solving these problems and putting them into our systems. And 80 to 90% of our technology back then, well, 85-ish, 80 to 85%, I would say, was in the backend systems, which were not visible to the user. So we had to build our own systems on uh, payment collection, um, also, I think in terms of onboarding these agencies, we never did a free sort of trial or free listing because free has no value. For Somebody sure. uses a platform for free or you give a free trial, they're not going to give it enough attention. And when you go for a sort of a paid discussion or a payment discussion, that's just, sort of, you know, it's not a very fruitful discussion because they never paid much attention to it. So we had to monetize on from day one. Getting these agencies was in itself a challenge. So we had to build a sales team, a telesales mm-hmm. and a field sales team. And, and that was still... Well, back then it was very important for, I would say that's, that's all still very important in most of the countries we operate in. You need a field sales team to build a relationship. Mm-hmm. And and again, I think the way we thought of sales was building our own CRM. We tried Salesforce, although it was excellent, but some of the features we needed, we needed some local features which were not available in Salesforce back then. We had to track mm-hmm. our people where they were. Were they actually going and meeting uh, the agents as an example, right? And and, and we, when we turned on our tracking, we discovered that you know somebody saw a movie three hours in DHA and came back and said, hey, I did three meetings in that time period. So mm-hmm. so we had to do a lot of this stuff and it was all in the back end uh, systems, which we which we still have. We're still building on top of those even till today. And I think a lot of effort went into that. Um, and again, logistics was a challenge. Uh, payments was a huge challenge as well. Uh, internet penetration in itself. So we had to enable listing collection via SMS, via mm-hmm. phone calls. So agents would call us and 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 they would sort of you know tell us what sort of a property they had we also introduced a photography service to get them into sort of you know believing in better quality for our mm-hmm. users that's going to give them a better brand and a higher chance of conversion so we had to do a lot of that um and luckily i think anybody who starts today <laughs> they, they wouldn't have to sort of go through those sort of uh, painful sort of areas but i think that everything we did made us stronger uh, mm-hmm. And the systems which we have today, we wouldn't have built those had it not been for that sort of, you know, lack of infrastructure availability. And 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 that's been a part of our success. And also it's really helped us in scaling our business as well, because yeah. uh, we can easily sort of, you know, mold our businesses to local needs when we go to a new country. Uh, our platforms are very, very sort of uh, very flexible. And we still have a single stack, which powers all the countries. So I think it's, it's, it, the, the assets, a lot of IP we set on was we started building that back in those days. Mm.